और आई गाइस सुदीशांत जॉइन सुपर थर्टी थ्री डेज अगो टाइप्स वेरी फनी स्टोरीज के मतलब ही आई थिंक द डे ही केम इज द डे ही गॉट हिज इंटरव्यू तो आते ही इंटरव्यू में बैठ गया था इट्स इन द सेम कंपनी एज सरगम डिफरेंट वो वैसे मतलब कंपनी कुछ नया बना रही है तो ही इज प्राइमरली लॉन्ग स्टोरी शॉर्ट सरगम बॉस हायर्स हैवली फ्रॉम अस तो दे रीच आउट अराउंड फिफ्टीन डेज अगो मैंने सुबह थर्टी एक ग्रुप में डाला था किसी को ए आई एजेंट्स आता है ऑनेस्टली मतलब किसी को नहीं आता था दो यूजली जब मैं मन कर आता था बहुत रिप्लाईज आते हैं ए आई एजेंट्स में सिर्फ तीन लोगों के रिप्लाईज आए थे एक और बंदा था काफी सही था पर वो सुबह थर्टी में नहीं था तो मैंने उसे रिप्लाई नहीं किया एंड देन ही वॉज अ सेकेंड वन एंड हिज प्रोफाइल में आई फॉट वॉट ही हैड ही प्रॉब्लम शायद मैं भूल गया बट दर समथिंग दट फेल्ट लाइक इट्स गुड ना फर्स्ट फॉरवर्ड टू कैम देन ही वेंट साइलेंट फॉर लाइक टेन डेज बट ही वॉज जॉइनिंग सुपर थर्टी बट देन राइट वन ही वॉज इन इज ट्रेन इज वैन कैम रीच आउट टू हम अगेन क्योंकि बैंड विथ हो गया वट एवर एंड देन वन ही वॉज हियर ही हेड इज फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू आई थिंक दैन उस पर एक सेकेंड था फिर शायद कल ही मैं देख रहा था कि लास्ट इंटरव्यू था एंड देन इमीजिएटली मतलब काफी क्विक प्रोसेस रहा उसके बाद आई थिंक इट्स अराउंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डॉलर्स अ मंथ एंड यूर इन कॉलेज अभी फोर्थ ईयर तो ये हाई लेवल प्राइमरली आई थिंक द थिंग टू लर्न इज जो मैं भी सीख ही रहा हूँ कि ए आई एजेंट्स का इंटरव्यू में क्या पूछा जाता है ये मेरा भी पहला एक्सपीरियंस था कुछ ऐसा क्रेजी नहीं था वैसे मतलब फ्रॉम वट आई अंडरस्टूड आई फेल्ट लाइक मेरे को ये डर था कि हमने पढ़ाया नहीं है एजेंट्स कहीं भी कोर्ट में तो किसी का निकलेगा नहीं निकलेगा एंड ऑनस्टली अब तक कुछ पूछा नहीं आई थिंक इतनी एक्सपर्टीज है नहीं तो इफ यू कैन दट्स वन नीड सेट ऑफ टॉक इन द पास्ट उसमें और इतनी मुश्किल नहीं है वो कम्पेयर टू ए आई रिसर्च और वेब थ्री ऑल्सो ए आई एजेंट्स इज अ मच सिंपलर नीड्स एंड वहाँ इतनी नॉलेज नहीं है लोगों को लाइक मन में वो एकदम घुस जाएंगे इंटरव्यू में एजेंट्स में ऊपर ऊपर से भी पता हुआ तो निकल जाता है तो दट्स इज वन थिंग टू कीप इन माइंड विद दट आई थिंक इन हैंडल ओवर टू शेयर द कम्प्लीट इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस एंड यू नो एवरी थिंग वॉज आस्ट एंड देन इफ यू हैव मोर क्वेश्चन यू गैसन या सो हाई आई एम दिशांत एंड करंटली इन फोर्थ ईयर आई हैव जॉइंड स्टेशन एज बैक इंड आई इंजीनियर एंड द इंटरव्यू वॉज काइंड ऑफ प्रिटी सिंपल दे जस्ट you know we had an introduction they just introduced me the culture of the company and how they work the founder the initial call was of founder he showed me what they are working on what is the next product going to be and the technical round was they 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 asked me to show my projects and they asked me how much time did it take to make one project why did i make this project and what problems did i face while making those projects one of my projects which was syntax map which i i made around for 6 to 8 months it was a pretty good project it uh, I I actually paid very much attention to detail on that project so they really liked that project and other one was I made two to three agents and RAG was you know a thing that I I used to know very well so I just explained them the entire architecture of RAG they went through my agents they asked me the questions about agents how how I how am I handling those transcripts how am i handling the data let me share one of projects which was financial agent so it had four tools one was getting the financial data from a screener.com which is a site uh, second one was getting the transcripts from uh, screener.com as well but it was in pdf format so pdf format was around 20 to 30 pages right and uh, the models which i was using were very free models 3 to 4 billion parameter models of grok cloud which which we get for free so it it didn't have huge context window and the capability was also very less i showed them how i handle and how the responses were generated they were pretty pretty you know impressed by that by the looks i i could figure out uh, because the way i was handling is i was breaking pdf in such such a format and giving models in such a format and collecting them and again giving it back to models and handling everything uh, good uh, so that the responses was even better the other tool was news fetching tool which actually gets news uh, of the that particular stock from uh, various websites and it it tells about the sentiment of the company right what the company is currently doing and everything so combined all together it gives a complete overview about a company right there was transcripts those uh, financial data and everything metrics and ratios so a con- complete report was generated about a particular company so i showed them as well and they liked it other one was a customer support agent which had 3 to 4 tools as well it was a categorizer uh, which used to categorize the customer sub- customer query into uh, various categories like technical category or you know some kind of let's say a general category and if it was unable to answer that the agent was capable to escalate to the concerned people concerned uh, you know staff which handles the customer queries so second one was that and third one was uh, news aggregator agent which which i uh, integrated in uh, the financial agent but i made it separately and then i combined it rag was uh, done by me and in my gsoc project also i was working on ai agents right so they asked me about 
what I am working on on my GSOC tasks and what is the scale of the task and how much people are going to use and what is the kind of data we are having in in that. So yeah, that was that was pretty much it. Uh, they they then asked about cultural fit round was there and some of the questions were asked about how will you implement the following things? How will you implement a particular feature at a scale, a huge scale? Um, it was more of, you know, uh, how you would handle things rather than what you know about these things. And one thing, one thing that helped me a lot in my interview is I read a lot of uh, white papers, right? I, I try to read two to three research papers a week. Uh, and that that helps me to expand my knowledge and you know this is ever ever growing field right this is this is currently growing in the markets so you have to you have to stay updated you have to find new ways to handle those data because data is very raw and even if even there are a lot of ways to chunk the data right so you have to find the correct methodology so that you get the perfect answer you need those methodologies those uh, techniques are already you know, researched uh, and you can find them on research papers. So yeah, re uh, reading research paper also helps a lot in these things. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, then got a reward back from the founder yesterday night as uh, yesterday night only. And uh, yeah, he was he was happy and I got into the team. Yeah, so it is uh, the project is syntax nip. So what it does is, uh, for for example, let's say there is a Express JS application, right? It has an initial template of four to five routes which you need, like get route, post route. You you can just you know get those snippets. You can just save the snippet. For let's say example, there are imports, there are routes already made. You can just create your snippet and just save them on the dashboard. I made a VS Code extension for it. With just a click, you can get your snippet which you saved directly in the VS Code, so that you don't have to write it again and again. So that was that was something which you know uh, was very close to me because I I used to hate writing co same code again and again and again and again those same structures. I just now use uh, syntax snip and with two clicks I just get my route and everything rather than writing those request response callbacks and everything. Yeah. Uh, how did you get into GSOC? Yeah, so GSOC journey was a pretty, you know, uh, <laughs> more of consistent work than uh, luck factor because I I joined pretty late, uh, somewhere around 15 Jan was my first PR. So from 15 Jan to March or May when when the results were announced, I I used to contribute a lot. Um, 26 to 27 PRs uh, were there and. It was OWASP organization and the mentor was kind of, you know, very particular about the code we write. So to impress him, it was it was more on how are you writing the code and how the quality of the code mattered a lot. So I focused more on the quality of the code and the quantity was a byproduct of it. So it impressed the mentor and finally I just submitted proposal and he took me in, in GSO. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we have six to seven people from OWASP here. Yeah. Yeah. How many people do you take? Um, they, they usually take 10 to 15 people every year. Why did you decide to learn about AI agents? Because my GSOC project was about AI agents and I, I really liked, you know, working on it. I, I saw it for the first time while drafting the proposal and I thought this, this unlocks a lot of project potential as well, right? You can build so many projects, personal projects on the AI assistant. Currently, you know, two days back, I scaffolded one of my project, which was a terminal assistant, which gets my Gmails, which get my Notion docs and gets my keep notes and keeps everything in sync. So I just have to, you know, tell him that schedule a meeting with, you know, uh, someone at 3 a.m. on Monday. So it will do it for me. I don't have to go to Gmail. I, I don't have to go to calendar and, you know, add those meetings and everything. So. You can delegate your work, right? And I, I, to reduce the friction, I am building a CLI for it so that I don't have to leave terminal just in one command I can do that rather than going to a website.
Köszönöm.